Hey, Miss Lin Long. Sorry to bother you. Jur E ordered a wanware set from you not long ago, right? We're friends of his. He's been telling us how impressed he is with the quality, considering how affordable it was. So we just had to come and take a look for ourselves. Sure. Which model are you looking for? Um, we don't really know a whole lot about wineware. Let's just go with Jur E's choice. Would you be able to show us the one he bought? Jur E picked up his set not long ago. As a quality imitation of an antique wineware set, it has the look and feel of a luxury item. Just so you're aware, we don't have many of this model left in stock, and now that Mr. Jur E has taken one, I'm afraid it may encourage the price to go up a little. Don't worry. Price shouldn't be an issue. I'm sure we can work something out. But I'm just a little hazy on one thing. Did Jur E's wineware set include wine glasses, or...? For this set, the wine glasses are sold separately. Minimum purchase is one glass, maximum is four. Mr. Jur E bought... two. Okay. Thanks, Lin Long. Seems there's a little more to buying wineware than I first thought. We'll have to mull it over. Well, don't take too long. We could sell out any day now. All right, see you next time. This is turning into a real headache. Uh, I'd just like to point out that we have the self-professed Grand Master of Fieldwork here to thank for being wholly incapable of tailing an ordinary civilian without being seen. It's not like you did any better. My specialty is information trading, okay? I don't have the physical agility. What's your excuse? I... uh... Fair point. Yeelon, so has the plan failed? Oh, if we can't figure out where Jerry went, there's not much we can do. But why was he buying liquor at Shinyue Kiosk anyway? To celebrate? If so, it's no ordinary celebration. What do you mean? First of all, Jur E isn't much of a drinker. On some level, he hates alcohol because of what it did to his father. If he was just looking to celebrate by himself, he wouldn't spend his meager savings on an expensive bottle of alcohol, let alone buy a pair of special wine glasses. No, this is a victory feast, held in honor of Jur E's private sponsor. Whoever this person is clearly enjoys hard liquor and has a very high status. Hence the need for expensive-looking wineware. Now where might we find Fatui who match that description, I wonder? Fatui officials... Hmm, should be either the Snezhnyan Embassy or the Northland Bank. Have both locations surrounded. Take as many people as you need. Lady Yelan, is it time for us to make our move? If so, you can count me in. Get with the program, would you? This is a covert surveillance operation. Jury may be vigilant, but that doesn't mean the same is true for his drinking buddy. In which case, we don't need to change tactics. Just change who we're following. Great idea! So we just need to find out who Jury bought that liquor for and follow them instead! But Lady Yelan, if we get caught, this could become a major diplomatic incident. I'm well aware, but don't you see? Jury is gambling everything on this. If we really want to catch him, we're going to have to accept a little risk ourselves. Stick to your orders, and make sure we're covering all other bases too. Anywhere else Jur E might be going. I want eyes on those locations. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Lady Yelan. Jur E may be a slippery character, but we'll keep a close watch on the movements of all Fatui officials. I'll be waiting for you at the tea house. If I'm guessing correctly, Fatui officials are likely to take action at night. You should go and get ready. Then meet me at Yensheng Tea House.
perfect timing. When Yuan just sent word that the Fatui ambassador, Yusupov, just left the embassy alone. He's heading in the direction of Qingxu Pool. Qingxu Pool? That's the place Jerry mentioned in his manifesto! It looks like that's where they've arranged to meet. Sensible choice, I'll give them that. Qingxu Pool is always crawling with monsters. Most people wouldn't dream of going there. It's one place they won't need to worry about being seen. Oh no, we gotta go get them! Let's go. If my hunch is correct, we just might hit the jackpot this time. This is Qingxu Pool, full of ruins, crawling with monsters. Anyone with any sense steers well clear of this place. I've looked into the place before. There's a worker's entrance somewhere around here. Follow me. There's been some work done on this place in the past, but it's a bit of a labyrinth inside. I can't guarantee we'll be safe once we're underground. The workers left an emergency access route. If we can find it, this will be a much easier journey. Still, be ready to fight at any moment. Any resistance needs to be taken out quickly and quietly. We don't want to attract too much attention. Don't worry, we're all professionals here! By the way, Yelan, where are your three little helpers at? They have other things to take care of first. We couldn't afford to wait for them, but they'll join us later. Sure. Shouldn't be too much trouble. I see that? That's gotta be the Fatui ambassador here to meet Jay. Looks like he went through that door. That must be the emergency access route, right? Come on, let's hurry! This is the construction worker's emergency access route, but it's closed tight. Trying to break through would be risky. Let's see if we can find another way.
Fire hazard! 